Hey everyone, Wes here. Today I'm going to try to explain to you how to make an object move in Unity. So first you need to create a new project on Unity and then when you start it up you should see a screen like this. The layout might differ, you can change it uh, any way you like from here on this uh, the drop down menu. I simply want, uh, like to use 2x3. So when you bring that screen up, go game object, create a 3D cube and then call it to ground and uh, if it's position looking like this just go and click on that uh, little cog and press reset so its position will be reset and after you're done with it go scale it to 10 on x-axis 0.5 on y-axis and 10 on z-axis and when you have that uh, little ground looking thing just go and create a new material for it so we, you can colorize it so go create create a new folder rename it to materials it's always good to have a good organization in your project so create a new material file call it whatever you want but i would like to call it ground mat and let's give it a color a green would be nice and to apply it to your object simply drag it down on ground object so there you have it a colorized ground and then we have to create our uh, new cube which is gonna be our player the object we are going to move so again reset its position but now you have to uh, give it a y axis 0 0.75 so it will be right on top of the ground as you can see and let's create a material file for our player as well let's call it player mat and give it a color red color a kind of dark red and to apply again just drag it down on the player object so there you have it and your uh, camera main camera angle will not probably like this so if you want to have the same settings as me uh, just give it and uh, X, give it a Y position on by eight. Sorry, 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 my bad. Uh, transform and the Z minus 12, rotate, give it a rotation on X axis by 30. And now we have the, our visual part. Now we have to create the movement part. So let's, I'm gonna create a folder called scripts and under scripts folder i'm going to create a new c sharp script called movement but before you go into uh, visual studio and edit this movement script i would highly recommend to apply it on the player object because sometimes people just forget about it and when they write their script and go back to unity and try to run it it doesn't work because it's not applied on the player object so when you click on the player object you can see the movement script is applied here now we can launch the visual studio to edit it and when you open it up you will see a screen like this void start void update void start is the initial initialize, initialization part of your program of your project sorry and the update section just updates the program uh, sorry project as it goes so first of all we need to define a movement speed which is uh, public floats move speed i'm gonna call it move speed you can call it whatever you want and then we have to assign a value to that move speed so on the start section go move speed 5 f so f just means the vertical value to so go to the update and type in transform translate what this does do is moves the transform in the direction and distance of translation so we have to set its speed on every axis we have so we have x y and z axis since it's a 3d so we are going to start with the x axis and we are going to duplicate it with the move speed so move speed times input get axis horizontal horizontal sorry my bad and then now next is y axis 
if you want to make a jump animation, then you're going to uh, type some values to type some functions in the y-axis as well. But right now we're just making it move forward and backward and left and right. So maybe I will make in another video to how to make it, how to give it a jump animation. So now we are moving forward to z-axis. Uh, sorry, I totally forgot that we have to time that, uh, duplicate that function with time delta time, which is the frame uh, seconds. The time it's in seconds it took to complete the last frame. So now we are, we are moving to z axis. That was my bad, I'm sorry. Move speed times input get axis. Now it's going to be vertical since it's a z axis. And we are also going to duplicate that with time delta time. And don't forget the semicolon. And we are done. Just save it by Control S or just go and file save. Go back to your Unity and check if the script is applied on the player object. As you can see, it is. So just click on the play button here. And now you can see that it moves with WASD as I press and also it moves with the arrow keys. If you want to make it go faster, you can go back to your uh, script and change it, change the move speed like 10F and go back to your Unity, stop it, start it, and now you will see it goes faster. If you, if you don't want to edit the script, just want to see how it goes, you can also change the move speed value on the script panel here. Like if you if you set it on 50, it will go fast like crazy. See? So that would be all. And thanks for watching. And as always, have a nice day.